The 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Ducati rolls into 2021 on its fourth-generation Multistrada that reaffirms Duke's position as a world leader in motorcycle development and production. Aptly named, Many Roads, in translation, the newly updated Multistrada V4 stable covers not only a range of riding surfaces, but a span of rider types as well, something that will hold it in good stead on the global stage. This family also has the distinction of being the first motorcycle equipped with front and rear radar that enables an automatic station keeping system in traffic, much like many of the higher quality automobiles that are currently on the market. The line includes a trio of sub-models, the Multistrada V4, V4S, and V4S Sport. 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Design Ducati built this Multistrada line around the needs of the most serious, adventuring, riders out there with ample power, cutting-edge electronics, and all-around, top-shelf mechanicals. Ever a leader in adventure bike design, Ducati's Multistrada V4 hits all the pertinent aesthetic high points that define the genre. Abroad, Bird's Beak fairing leads the way above a minimal, fork-foot mount fairing that pulls double duty with foil-shaped uprights that reduce drag at the inverted front forks. In an early divergence between the V4 models, the Sport rocks a carbon fiber front fender. The LED headlights ride in recesses in the front fairing and rock a daytime running light for safety across the board. However, the V4S and Sport models diverge again with Ducati's cornering lights feature that detects when you enter a curve and lights up extra projectors so the light goes where you actually need it instead of just straight ahead. A rally-style windscreen steers the wind up over your head, and since it's well-vented it produces little of that wearisome head buffet effect at speed. Stock handguards protect your meat hooks from wind and brush. As for the instrumentation, the base model comes with a 5-inch color TFT screen, but the other two boast a 6.5-inch color TFT plus the Ducati Connect service and navigation feature. A 5.8-gallon fuel tank defines the upper lines as it tumbles down to a deep swale that keeps the pilot well contained both fore and aft with stadium seating for your passenger. The pilot's saddle is adjustable with a range from 33.1 inches up to 33.9 inches off the deck so you can dial it in somewhat to accommodate your inseam length. Visually, there is little to choose between these three, just a splash of color here or a bit of black out there, though the sport rocks Ducati's livery for a little extra dose of delightfulness. 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Chassis The frame is noteworthy because it isn't a frame at all. The Multistrada V4 family uses an aluminum monocoque assembly that relies on a stressed skin for its structure, but the subframe is more mundane with tubular members and traditional webbing for stiffness. Pirelli's Scorpion Trail 2 radial hoops come stock in a 120/70-19 ahead of a 170/60-17 with a ZR rating that will tolerate speeds over 186 miles per hour, so you'll never do them justice on public roads, better not anyway. The base model rolls on cast alloy rims in a black finish, as do the other two, but the more noble variants come with a choice between gloss black rims with a red tag and the laced rims that are preferred for off-road work. Fully adjustable suspension components are another common thread, but again the top two models take the cake with electronic suspension control through its proprietary Ducati Skyhook suspension system and Marzocchi forks. Wheel travel measures in at 6.7 inches and 7.1 inches on the front and rear respectively to strike a balance between on-road work and off, and enable some fairly rough terrain capabilities. There's another difference in the brakes, with the base model again running ever so slightly less noble equipment. Dual 320mm discs and four-piston Brembo monoblock anchors take care of business up front with a 265mm disc and twin-pot caliper out back. The rear brakes are consistent across the board, but the V4S and Sport lead the way with Brembo's 4-bore Stylima monoblock calipers that bite larger, 330mm discs to provide the bulk of the stopping power. Ducati's lean sensitive cornering abs calculates the available traction and tunes its interventions accordingly to make braking in curves a lot safer than you'd get with vanilla abs. The V4S and Sport also rock a vehicle hold feature that holds the rear brake for you so you can put both of your training wheels down for stability while stopped on a grade. 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Drivetrain 
The hard engine figures remain the same across the spread with Ducati's V4 Gran Turismo delivering the goods to the tune of 170 horsepower at 10,500 revolutions per minute and 92 pound-feet of torque at 8,750 revolutions per minute. As the ingeniously clever name suggests, it is, in fact, a V4 plant. It's a decidedly oversquare layout that mics out at 83mm and 53.5mm for the bore and stroke respectively, and this gives it a 1158cc displacement. What isn't quite so obvious is how the engine works. First off, it uses a twin pulse firing order that imitates the operation of a V twin engine for a torque rich ride. It also runs a counter-rotating crankshaft that adds its own significant gyroscopic force to the equation to combat the same force in the wheels. This gets you a bike that flicks and makes reversals much crisper as the engine force counteracts some of the wheel force. Induction control falls to the 46mm ride by wire throttle bodies that run an elliptical bore and delivers a lower resistance air supply than a round bore resulting in a little boost to volumetric efficiency. The six-speed transmission is likewise the same in overall gear ratio, and it comes with a slip and assist clutch that delivers a light pull at the clutch lever. It also provides some back torque mitigation to protect the traction at the rear wheel during hard downshifts and engine braking actions. Top drawer electronics give you full control over the ride quality. It starts with the variable power delivery power modes feature with traction control, wheelie control, and a riding modes feature that bundles all of the above in various combinations for easy and fast personality changes. 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Price The base model Multistrada V4 rolls in Ducati red over black with white trim for $19,995. In the mid-range, the V4S can be had in a choice of Ducati Red and Aviator Grey for $24,095, and you can also opt for wire wheels over the stock cast rims. At the top is the V4S Sport with its red, white and grey factory livery and choice between spoke wheels and cast, and it fetches top dollar at $26,095. 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Competitors no doubt about it, the new Multistrada V4 is a clear and present threat in the Globetrotter market, but I think Kawasaki may have a viable alternative with its Versys 1000 SELT+. Kawasaki Versys 1000 SELT+. Kawasaki puts together a proper adventure bike that starts out by towing the genre's design line with a fullish front fairing, vented rally-style windscreen and tall fuel tank hump. An upswept tail finishes with a sporty flare to loft your passenger quite a bit over the sunken pilot seat. Kawi gets an early win as it sends this particular Versys out the door with hard panniers as part of the stock equipment. Let's face it, an adventure bike without storage is, as it stands, a glorified commuter, so the side cases on the Kawi give it more off-the-floor utility, something to remember at checkout. The Versys arguably falls behind in the brakes as it comes with smaller, 310mm discs and vanilla abs. Power comes from an inline 4 banger, so naturally the torque falls off a bit down to 75.2 pound-feet against Duke's 92 pounds of grunt. You might expect the Kawasaki to also fall behind in the electronics, but the Versys acquits itself admirably with electronic suspension control, riding modes, and a quick shifter to leave the eye tie with the slimmest of advantages in the ride quality electronics. You'll pay for that edge as the Versys $18,199 sticker leaves the base model Multistrada V4 looking a bit proud at the checkout, and don't forget you'll have to pony up for some bags to really have the gear that you need for serious work. Read our full review of the Kawasaki Vs. 1000 SELT+. He said. Never fails, Ducati puts together one hell of a product. Fit and finish are spot on, and there's no doubting the quality or the performance. One really cool thing Ducati is rolling out with this family is the pre-made factory accessory bundles that let you quickly set up the bike for a particular purpose, not entirely unlike BMW does with its machines. She said. My wife and fellow motorcycle rider, Alan Hinton, says, I believe this is the first time we've seen the new rear and forward facing radar on a motorcycle, yeah. The new Mulet Strata V4 is so much more than the outgoing Multistrada. 
There's a new engine, a new lightweight chassis, and a whole host of sweet electronics. Note also the larger front wheel showing off the improved off-road chops of the new the V4. 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4 Specifications If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.